Uh, this is a, a jack of plates. Uh, it's a series of small uh, plates that make up a larger piece of armor. Uh, there's probably a good, I don't know, maybe 350 to 700 plates that make up this, this small vest. Um, here is a small um, section of it uh, that you folks can ha hopefully see. So um, as I said, this is complete. And so you can see the series of, of small plates that were sewn together. Uh, into this vest. Uh, this particular artifact was found in a soldier's pit uh, along the western wall of, of the fort. Uh, this artifact was found about 10 years ago, um, has been in process uh, for quite some time, uh, probably the last two or three years. The jack of plates is now complete and uh, I'm going to discuss it a little bit here today and, and talk about the things that we had to do to, to conserve it. Uh, so last time we talked, uh, I was still removing some of the soil uh, with the paleo tool. Uh, that's absolutely complete now. And after that process, I put it into air abrasion. Uh, took about two to three months in there. Air abrasion is um, high pressure air pushing uh, aluminum oxide through a small tube um, onto the artifact to remove the rust. Once that was done, we took it out, uh, cleaned all the powder off, and normally what we would do is we would take the artifact and put it uh, through um, um, a chloride removal process um, through deionized water. Um, this artifact was a little too fragile for that. I didn't want it to break apart. So after I air braided it, I simply cleaned all the powder off, um, the last remnants of soil, everything off that I could and I uh, put um, two coats of B72 on it um, and, and left it at that. I didn't, um, I decided against even flipping the artifact, removing the cheesecloth and doing the other side because it is so fragile. And believe it or not, this is, this is a very important piece. This is probably the most complete set of jacket plates in the United States. Um, so. We definitely wanted to keep it intact. And so at this point, uh, where we're at right now is, is the dry room um, inside our vault. And it's very low humidity, so there won't be a lot of uh, rust breaking out. And so we decided to just go ahead and leave it in here, keep our eyes on it. At some point, we might decide to, to go ahead and put it on display in our museum. Um, but it is a very interesting piece in its complete state. And so um, hopefully in the future, I'm, I'm conducting a lot of studies on it right now, contacting other people uh, in England to, to help us, not only in its identification, uh, but helping us to understand uh, the construction of this, this very important artifact.